This is my homemade R134A refrigerant heat pump. This um, actual compressor right here came out of a mini fridge, and then I built this radiator uh, condenser, which is really hot now. This thing's been running for about eight minutes now, and this is uncomfortable to touch. It's probably around 150, 60 degrees. Um, this is the discharge port here. After it comes out right here, it goes through this radiator to cool off, and I usually have a fan over it, but right now I don't, don't have one, so that's why it's heating up real hot. Then it goes through this uh, filter dryer thing, filter dryer accumulator, and then after that it travels through this bit of capillary tube to keep a high pressure over here and a low pressure on this side, and then it evaporates in here, and this is copper, it's just got a bunch of ice on it because it's been running about 8 minutes and it gets real cold yeah, really cool and then it comes all the way back up to here and I could probably have done had a little, little bit more tubing or just a little less refrigerant so that this thing doesn't suck any liquid up I don't think it is, but it's building up ice over here so I should probably let out a little bit of refrigerant later but you know, this is just a little experiment. Later on, I can get this um, working stably. I'll either make this into a refrigerated air dryer or use it as a CPU overclock CPU cooler. And if I do that part, then I'll change out this evaporator to one that sticks directly on the CPU. But kind of how I filled it, I use this little setup right here. It's a little can. It's like four bucks, and then I borrow this. Um, little hose from a friend and I had this thing from somewhere but this screws on to the quarter inch uh, fitting also yeah these are just standard quarter inch flare uh, Schrader valves for AC systems there's one here and one there so you can stick manifold gauges to it but for this I only used uh, this thing you screw this onto there and it adapts the standard fitting to a um, automotive 134A fitting, and th this is for automotive uh, R12 to 134A fitting. But you screw that on there, and then that clips onto it, and then you just open up this valve right here, and then the refrigerant will flow out of this into there, like that. But this was just a little neat project, no point really to it except to experiment with a little heat pump. But if you have any questions about this, then just leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Um, I don't know everything about AC systems, but I know a little bit. Enough to make this. But this goes to show that you don't have to have any kind of professional tools to make a little heat pump. And these things are pretty neat. I think total I paid like because all I basically had everything except these valves here, so the total cost was five dollars to make this and a little bit of time. It's a pretty neat project, so thanks for watching. Bye.